Hey guys, it's Mackity Wednesday. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today is a beautiful, bright and sunny day in December, so I thought I would go ahead and film a barn vlog. I just pulled up Miss Ruthie's out in the paddock. I'm about to go ahead and bring her in the barn and get her tacked up and ready to go. Time to give her a nice, super good groom down and get her ready for a ride today. We got the brain bucket on, the pony's nice and groomed up. I'm feeling a little festive, so we're going with the Christmas pad today. So to start off a ride, I just warm up at the walk and I like to warm up at the walk fairly extensively, especially in the cooler months and the cooler weather, just to really loosen up her muscles and to make sure she's warmed up and as ready to go as she possibly can be. And then normally when I am warming up at the walk, I pretty much, at least for the first couple of laps, let her walk almost all the way on the buckle, let her look around the arena, see if anything's changed, if anything's new. Um, just kind of letting her know like, hey, we're about to start our work soon um, and getting her nice and loosened up and ready to go.
Now as I come around here, I'm starting to pick her up a little bit, getting her feeling the contact, um, and just really getting her to push from her hind in and getting her soft in my hands. We definitely need to work on some straightness in our transitions and I'm just picking up the trot here. And in the beginning, I'm not really asking her for much. It's more just making sure she's nice and loose. The only thing I am trying to make sure to do here is not to let her run around with her head like a giraffe. Um, you wouldn't believe it, but that's actually her preferred way of going. So now I'm picking her up a bit more and really trying to push her into my hands, having her push off the hind end, trying to switch where I'm going in the arena as much as I possibly can to keep it fresh for her and to keep her guessing. Um, so here I am just trying to push her around that inside leg, really push her up into my hand, um, and I'm trying to get a nice working trot here. Let me just come down the long side. Again, we're not super fantastic with our straightness, but I would say it is fairly good for her. Alrighty, and here we are coming across the diagonal at that trot. Again, just making sure she's listening to me as adjustable um, as she can possibly be. You know, when I check in in half fold, I wanna make sure she's actually slowing down. And when I give her a squeeze, I wanna make sure she's actually going forward. And she was actually doing super well. She isn't very steady in the contact. Um, she does kind of search for it a lot. Here I am just doing a circle, trying to push her around my inside leg. So that is definitely something that we are working on as well as straightness and transitions and a whole list of other things. But she felt really good in this hack. She was really listening to me. Um, you know, she's not the most well-built horse confirmationally or confirmation wise. She is built like decently, kind of nice, but she does have some challenges that she has to overcome. So there we go, just changing the directions across the diagonal. She takes a little blow out there. And then I start working on some sitting trot circles, um, trying to get a nice collected trot here around the circles, making sure I'm sitting as much as I can. I know it needs work. Um, but I wanted to go and do some sitting trot, try to really get her collected up, work on my position as well. So then I would just went to the other, more spooky side of the arena, and then um, I did a sitting trot circle on that side of the arena as well, really trying to balance her up, collect her into my hands, get a um, nice collected trot. And then after this sitting and trot circle, I believe I go back into a posting trot um, and try to get it to move out a little bit more and have it a little bit more engaged and working than that sitting trot was. And just some more trot work. As you can see, the trot is one of my favorite gates. It's so great for strengthening up their hindquarters. And I was just, um, really making sure to make sure she was nice and warmed up before we start the canner. So she did really good, so I went ahead and walked her, and she had a longer walk break than what I actually filmed here. And then now here I am starting to pick her back up again for the canner. So our walk to canner transitions are one of our hardest transitions. She really likes to speed through those and try to blow through my hand and throw her head up like a giraffe. So um, a lot of the focus of my ride today was really making sure that she waited for um, that canner transition. So because it is a flat work day, I am sitting the canner, just again, really trying to drive that hind end up under her to build um, that muscle um, and really trying to have more of a round canner, not the long and low typical hunter canner that I would want to win a hunter class. Um, but I thought she was working really nicely over her body. 
And again, uh, just lots of work on the transitions of walk to canter and making sure after we canter and go down to walk that we can stay at a walk, which seems like a mind blowing concept for Ruthie. So right there, she threw her head up way over the vertical and hollowed out her back. It took me a second to get her back into a nicer collected canter where she was using her body correctly. And I also tried to do a lot of work on canter circles. We really struggle with our canter circles to the right or turning to the right. We're just a little bit tight on our left side of our body and our left hip. So that's the direction that we struggle on just a little bit more. So I tried to do a lot of work on the right lead canter circles in this particular flat ride. And again, making sure to give her tons of walk breaks for her brain. Just because she is so young and I would rather have a short ride with lots of walk breaks that's very positive than a long ride that's not super productive um, and she just gets flustered and frustrated. So I'm just pushing her around my leg and I'm this time I'm kind of circling around the little obstacles in the middle of the arena, having her really canter up close to them and look at them and then back down to a walk. Trying to keep her head up and not let her fall in between her knees in those downward transitions, although it is kind of challenging to continue to keep her back and on her haunches when she is naturally built downhill. So now I'm just coming to do some left lead canter work and I believe I started here with a left lead circle. For some reason this lead is so much easier for me and easier for her. Again, it would probably have to do with that tightness on her left side so it's easier for her to turn into the left. But here we go, just cantering to the left and I thought she was a lot steadier in the contact on the left lead. Um, she was really working and pushing from behind like I wanted her to. There was some moments in the circles where she would fall in and I would have to really remind her like, hey, stay out, stay on your circle. But other than that, I thought her left lead canter work was great. And then to end, I just let her trot on the buckle and stretch out. She did come around that corner kind of fast, but it's just her cool down relaxer to really um, stick her nose down and to stretch over her back as much as she needs to. And then once we're done with her trot out, I go ahead and I cool her out at the walk for about five to 10 minutes, just to make sure she's not breathing hard or anything before we go back into the barn and I get her untacked and ready to be done. And I believe after this ride, since I didn't take the proper time to cool out in the arena, we actually went on a little walk hack afterwards just to enjoy ourselves, give her some time to catch her breath, and to expose her little baby brain. So we just finished our hack. It was really relaxing and nice. We did a lot of um, walk to canter transitions to try to work on getting that a little bit better. And now we're just going on a little stroll to the end of the driveway and back to cooler out. Thinking about freaking out, always hate the gate. So brave, yay. Although we were super fantastic for our ride, turns out she was a little bit fresh on our after ride little hack trail down the driveway. So we have a little bit of more work to do about being an independent Miss Pony, but overall she was super fantastic, ended on a good note, so it's time to untack.
She's sweaty, but it's not too bad. So I think I'm gonna let her dry off a little bit. And while she's drying, I'm gonna clean her tack. In case you were wondering, those goofy things on Miss Ruthie's legs is part of the Beamer horse set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the blanket part over her back and let her sit with the Beamer for a couple minutes. And then I might give her some time to graze and then head home. <laughs> no more Tritos. Hey, Lexington. Hi, Cruz. Thank you guys so much for sticking along with me through this vlog. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments down below and go ahead and give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it really does help me out. And also follow me out on my Instagram, which is at McKenzieK underscore equestrian. I would love to chat with some of you guys out there and I'll see y'all in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.